I love it. Oh, happy Monday. By and large, these theme games work just like regular trivia. All multiple choice questions. I mean, it's always multiple choice. You tap the answer you think is correct to lock it in. The only difference is all of these questions. Here go. And also, oh, thank you. Thank you for the kind words. Halonic. Oh, no, not him. Hain. Well, I know what you meant there. And I'm going to be um, strong about it. I'm not going to feel bad. I'm going to talk about what your favorite fairy tales are that you asked. Uh, you answered us. Um, Brutax, Sleeping Beauty, Fimat, The Three Little Pigs, Hannah Martin, Snow White, Kiner Mary, Rumpelstiltskin, Fiction Writer 38, Cinderella, Nisi Poo, Jack and the Magic Beanstalk, His Queen, My Liege, Beauty and the Beast, Liz Bean, The Little Mermaid, Mort 311, Hansel and Gretel, 49, Danae, Rapunzel. There are a lot of very good uh, answers in here. There's no wrong answer. But I think a lot of you are going to be very happy that your favorite fairy tale is represented here. I think you're going to do well. I believe in all of you. And we're going to have a fun time. Jopey77, sad that the Lions lost. That was a brutal loss, but a fun game. And congratulations to them for making the conference championship. I hope it is not their last time there. They had a heck of a season. I think they'll do better. Congratulations to the 49ers. Congratulations to the Chiefs. We got a Super Bowl rematch on the way. Who do you have, everybody? What do you think? Who do you think is going to win? Who do you have? We got Niners in there. I get we got some Chiefs fans, too. Don't worry. I'll stop talking about it. I've, I know I know how it feels. I know how it feels, everybody. All right. Here we go, folks. Win money from the comfort of your phone. You'll huff and you'll puff and you'll do your best to win today's grand prize. Take a look. That is $1,000. And when you correctly answer 10 multiple choice trivia questions about fairy tales, you will win your share of it. In this game, you'll earn one bonus SB for every question you get right after question number one, even if you've already been eliminated. If you win the game, they're automatically added to your share of the grand prize, all the bonus SB you earn. But if you do not win the grand prize, you can keep burning those bonus SB. You will have to claim them at the end of the game in order to keep them. Simple as clicking a button that appears once the game has ended. We make it easy for you, all right? Now, the first time you get a question wrong, as long as it's before question number 10, you can rejoin to give yourself another chance at the grand prize. You can do that either using SB or with a free rejoin. Here's a little tip. You click that plus sign in the top left-hand corner of the main menu anytime a game's not happening, you can get free rejoins by watching videos. And I bet you a bunch of you have a whole ton of free rejoins that you got during Second Chance Week last week, but if you don't have them, just watch some videos. Each game, we give away a 500 SB prize to one player who wins and claims at least one SB in the game. Thursday's winner was Wild Palm Tree. Congratulations, you have already been credited. Enjoy those 500 SB. To everyone else, keep playing and claiming because next time, the winner could be you. All right, you know what? The comments just ate a poisoned apple, so they're going to go take a nap while we get this game started. Here is question number one. How many evil stepsisters does Cinderella have? Is it two, five, or 16? If you followed us on Twitter slash X, you would already have the answer to this one. Cinderella's stepmother is so cruel that she locks up her stepdaughter to give her two less desirable daughters a better chance at landing the prince. Two! Two, of course, that is the answer. 94% of you getting that one right. Well done. If there were five of them, enough to start a basketball team, that would have been real tough for Cinderella to move past. But fortunately, she only had two. Two uh, wicked stepsisters, I think, is enough for anyone. 94% of you getting it right. The rest of you did not get that one correct. Most of you are rejoining. We have over 17,500 people in grand prize contention, over 18,000 playing the game, having fun, and ready to earn one bonus SB on every question, which starts right now with question number two. Which fairy tale character challenged the queen to guess his name? Is it the gingerbread man, Jack, or Rumpelstiltskin? Challenge the queen to guess his name. Hmm. 
All right, here's the positive. He can help you spin spin flax into gold. Here's the negative. He'll take your firstborn child as payment. Positive, if you catch him singing, he'll reveal that his name is Rumpelstiltskin and gets so mad when you correctly guess it that he goes away. Rumpelstiltskin is the answer. 90% of you getting that one right. Well done. You nailed it. Rumpelstiltskin is the answer. She just passes by this guy whose whole thing is, you got to guess my name, and he's singing his name by the fire. Got the fire outside. Just forest, if that's your deal. I mean, it's it, it all worked out well in the end. Of the 10% of you eliminated everybody coming back in. Let's move to question number three now with one bonus SB if you get it right. In Hansel and Gretel, what is the witch's house made of? Is it chicken feathers, candy, or corn? What is that witch's house made of? Those breadcrumbs they left as markers didn't matter once they saw every child's dream. A house made entirely of candy. Don't worry about that witch in there. Candy is the answer. 90% of you getting that one right. Sometimes it's cookies. It's always sweets of some sort. It's a dessert house. Dessert house. That's, you know, that's got to be. That's got to be tough when it rains on a candy house or a cookie house. That's just bad. That's got to be a tough house to ensure. Of the 10% of you eliminated, again, we're getting about three quarters of you back in. Still over 16,400 people in grand prize contention. And we are on to question number four now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In Goldilocks and the Three Bears, what food does she sample? Is it honey, berries, or porridge? She's eating their food. What kind of food is it? Goldilocks commits a home invasion, then just starts trying all the stuff in the bear's abode, their beds, their chairs, and she even eats the porridge they had set aside as a meal. Those bears weren't bothering anybody. Leave that porridge alone. 98% of you getting that one right. Leave porridge alone. Well done. You knew that one. Too hot, too cold, just right. You know, they were going to eat that later on, Goldilocks. And then you go sleep in their beds? That's not very nice. Let's move on to question number five, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. What does the Little Mermaid give up in order to get her legs? Is it her voice, her hair, or her eyes? What does she give up to get them stems? If you're a mer person, falling in love with a human presents a bunch of challenges. In addition to the awkwardness when your parents meet, you have to give up your voice if you want legs to go visit them on land. It's her voice that she gives up. 95% of you getting that one right. Well done. I assume the Disney versions of a lot of these are going to give you the answer, but she gives up her voice in the Brothers Grimm version as well. The 5% of you eliminated. Over half of you coming back in. And we are halfway done this game already. That's how well you're doing. Moving on to question number six, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In one fairy tale, a girl is revealed to be a princess after feeling what object beneath a pile of mattresses? Is it a marble, a twig, or a pea? What does she feel under those mattresses? The moral of this story is that a princess has a very specific set of sleeping needs. Even on top of a huge pile of mattresses, she'll be able to feel a pea digging into her back. She's used to luxury, folks. Pea, the princess and the pea. That's the story I was talking about, of course. 88% of you getting that one right. Well done. Now, Marble, uh, that is sort of like uh, the, the toy version of a pea. And a twig, well, that's just a little piece of a tree that fell off. But of the 12% of you that got eliminated, we got over half of you back in. Still over 14,800 people in grand prize contention. Only four questions remaining. The next one worth one bonus SB. If you get it right, here is question number seven. Which of these fairy tale characters dies in the Brothers Grimm version of their story? Is it Snow White, Rapunzel, or Little Red Riding Hood? That's right. One of these characters does not make it out alive in the Brothers Grimm version. Happily Ever After is the fairy tale ending we all grew up with, but the original stories were much more grim, if you'll pardon the pun. For example, Little Red Riding Hood did not survive the original French version. She was gobbled up. Too bad, Little Red Riding Hood. 41% of you getting that one right. A brutal question indeed, but hey. 59% of you have the opportunity to rejoin. Most of you had not already. Over three quarters of you coming right back in, getting us over 12,200, 12,300 people in grand prize contention. Well done. Those original stories are real tough. Cinderella to try to fit into the shoe. They're like, mod they're modifying their feet in ways you don't want to modify feet. Those stepsisters are.
Let's move on to question number eight now, worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In Little Red Riding Hood, the big bad wolf disguises himself as what person? Is it her grandmother, her cousin, or her daughter? Who does she disguise herself as? We just mentioned Little Red Riding Hood not making it out of her original story alive. And if you can't tell the difference between a wolf dressed as your grandmother and your actual grandma, you're already in trouble. It's no surprise she didn't make it out of that one. Grandmother is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right, crushing it, killing the game. That is what we like to see. Let's move on to question number nine. Worth one bonus SB if you get it right. In Jack and the Beanstalk, what does Jack steal from the giant? Is it diamonds, the goose that laid the golden egg, or food? What does he steal from that giant? fee fi fo fum Trading your cow for a bag of magic beans sounds dumb, okay? But when those beans yield a giant stalk that gives you access to the goose that laid the golden egg, it looks like a much better deal. The goose that laid the golden egg is the answer. 11,312 of you have made it this far. You are ready for a final question. But first, a quick reminder that there are two ways to get SB from Swagbucks Daily Trivia outside of our live games. First is the Daily Trivia Challenge. That is the quick hostess version of our game that you can play up to twice per day on your schedule. Second is by clicking the more ways to earn button wherever you find it in the app. Now, both of them will get USB towards your daily goal, but you have to do your daily tap draw. You do not want to miss out on that. You can see a little box show up at the end of the game. If you click that, it'll take you right to the tap joy wall in this app. Come every day, complete the quick offers, check daily discover off your to-do list, earn SB that are just going to count and compile and increase over time. It's just a smart way to use this app uh, when you've already played all the games. We want you to get SB from here 24-7. That is what we're about. We have 11,622 people, by the way, going after a piece of our $1,000 grand prize. Over 18,300 of you have stuck around till the end. Well done. I like seeing you stick around. You're going to be rewarded with a shot at one more bonus SB if you can correctly answer question number 10. How many dwarfs does Snow White live with? Is it seven, eight, or nine? How many dwarfs? I don't know how you could possibly know this. When she's cast out into the forest for being too pretty, Snow White is in danger. But thankfully, she finds shelter... With the seven dwarfs, of course. They look out for her. Seven is the answer. 11,474 of you knew that answer. And you are splitting our grand prize today. Congratulations. Each of you taking home 9 SB and grand prize money. Uh, Callie Mendelski, you are a winner. Congratulations. Lawrence JBE. Romart, or Roma Art. Michael Narising, congratulations. Rodim. Congratulations, and Megan Lacey, just a few of our grand prize winners. Congratulations to every single one of you. You know the deal now that you have all of these new SB in your account. And I'm talking to those of you who earn bonus SB and claim them as well. You can use those SB and redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. Great job today. We will see you tomorrow for another one. Thank you for playing Daily Trivia Live, and we'll see you then, my friends.